What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel and we're gonna do the cowl repair We're gonna start doing the cowl repair. The cowl basically is made out of two parts It's like sandwiched together. We got the top and the bottom. This is the bottom piece right here if You put the flashlight like that you can see all the spot welds It's a day night difference so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use my flashlight and then I'm going to use my marker and for every spot weld I'm going to put a center like that, like that, like that. I'm going to go around and do all of that on all the spot welds like this. That way I know exactly where I need to hole punch the spots without really trying to find it and see because see if I take the, the light away it's kind of hard to see the spot welds, especially in the area where the light is actually shining from the top. But if I do it with a flashlight, you can see all the spot welds easy. Alrighty, let's go. Basically, I pretty much separated all these spot welds right here in this area and this is separated right here and this bracket took forever to remove right here. I'm going to get a new one, it goes like that. I'm going to get a new one of these. But yeah, it's looking, looking pretty bad underneath from what I can see developing, especially on the edges. You can tell that it's going to be pretty gross underneath that the shell right here even though I got the car primered when it was sand blasted blasted it was able to primer right here but there's stuff that we don't see over here when we're gonna open it I'm pretty sure it's gonna look pretty bad use my little uh, spot weld splitter these work really good for when you actually drill it out and then you just need to kind of hammer it in there and just cut whatever you can and then I got this guy right here 9 degree angle Really good tools that I have for that uh, because you obviously can't perfectly drill out all the spot welds so you're gonna have to pretty much slice the rest of it off and I'm gonna use a Dremel right here on this edge I'm curious to see what's gonna what it's gonna look like inside because Ford never actually coated uh, the inside of the cowls with primer or anything it was basically just bare metal Ford never actually thought that these cars will last more than seven, ten years and they probably thought that they're going to be rusted out and people are just going to abandon them and buy new cars and uh, yeah, now they're collectors and it's something that has to be done pretty much on all the classic Mustangs because it was never treated from the factory.
so let's see what we got here. And there we go. This is the spots that usually always weld out, uh, rust out right here because you get a bunch of dirt in here, leaves, everything else. Water sits in here, builds up in here. And because this was never protected from the factory, neither was this. So I'm gonna have to clean this up, paint this underneath. Uh, so that's gonna be taken care of. Even like something like this, like how does that even happen? The water doesn't sit here. It always runs down, so just like these spots are here how does this happen this spot this spot i just don't understand there's nothing there's no no foam no there's nothing that would keep the water here from going down so why would this rust out pretty much on all four corners one here one there one there this one this area right here there we go all right, so this side's pretty bad. That one's not as bad. That one's actually uh, better on that side. Like this spot has just like a little bit of a, of a rusted area right here, a little bit right here. But other than that, it looks fairly decent. I'm gonna vacuum it, clean it up, uh, make sure there's no debris. And uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and start splitting this part. All right, let's continue on. And after removing the old cow, there's gonna be a lot of high spots from the previous spot welds. Let's go ahead and uh, prep these areas, clean them up, straighten them up, and then we're gonna worry about things like these holes right here, uh, spots like this that I drilled through accidentally. And then there's also this weird spot that I gotta deal with. I'm probably gonna cut out this section right here, weld in a new square as well. Pretty much got everything as straight as possible and I also ended up uh, fixing this corner right here because as you can see this whole piece was kind of all jacked up it was all nice and cheesy so I ended up cutting this out and replacing it with a newer piece while this stuff is drying I'm gonna make a quick little bracket for this spot because there's still some cheese and this area right here, this metal with a bunch of holes as you can see, I actually wanna go ahead and make a bigger plate for the bottom so it's reinforced because I wanna install the shock tower brace system from TCP, which is Total Control Products, and that's gonna mount in this area, go across to here, 
and then I'm gonna go across to here and then I'm gonna go across no it's not gonna go across here but it's gonna be like a I think like a square type of reinforcement so it's gonna be nicely reinforced but I actually want to make sure this is actually nice and solid right here as well a little bit longer to make than I expected and I did a little more spot welds uh, than maybe I should but it's okay it's more reinforced I did it you know as you can see right here I did a, a bunch of spot welds right there and uh, what I'll just have to do is uh, probably tomorrow I'll just grind them all down make it as smooth as possible and then uh, go over with the welding primer again and that's gonna be ready for uh, the cowl to be uh, installed. This will be coated inside and ready to go. I'm gonna coat this as well. So that'd be it for this video. If you're new, please subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. See ya!